hopefully, hopefully my voice is loud enough and hopefully the voices of our members, they're loud enough as well. Because what is happening here is immoral, it's wrong, it should never happen to care workers who provide such vital services in our communities. Looking after vulnerable people. And what are we finding? Instead of getting a decent wage, instead of being paid properly, instead of being respected, instead of being treated with dignity, our people, Unison members, providing those services, women, Unison women, are having their pay taken away from them. Thousands of pounds in a year. Are they told, are they told, are they told, are they told that they work longer hours for nothing? It's nothing more less than slavery. Just thinking that you can't go anywhere else, that you'll accept anything that they give you and that you will do the job. And the people who suffer are not just our members, they're not just the women who are part of our union. The people who suffer are the people who need care because they're not looked after properly. People walk away. And we, as a union, we're the biggest union in the UK. Yay! Over a million women in our union, the majority of them working in caring services. And we will stand by our members wherever they're faced with this kind of action. We cannot stand for it. We cannot allow it to happen. And we've got to be strong. We've got to be united. And we have got to prevent this council not giving the money to Serona to pay our members a proper wage. Serona say, Serona say <coughs> they haven't got the money. They signed the contract. They signed the contract with the council. They signed a contract that said our members will not get a pay increase for three years. And now they can't live within the contract and they're cutting the pay of our members. But the people to blame are the council who sold off the services. Yeah. They did it in a way, they, they knew what they were doing. They washed their hands of the caring services. And if Serona can say we haven't got the money to pay our members, I know who have. And it's the council whose responsibility it is to provide those caring services. They've been given three million pound extra this year for social care. They're given another million pound in the next few weeks. They've been given three quarters of a million pound for next year extra over and above the, the usual amount of money that they have directed at social care. They are making choices. They're making choices not to pay you a decent <coughs> wage. It's their decision. They've got the money and we've got to be strong and we've got to make sure that this council pays up and that people in Bath and North Somerset, they get good caring services, our members get decent pay, are treated with dignity and they provide the service that we need so badly. So I want to say now, thank you for everybody doing what you're doing. Standing up for yourselves, standing together, standing united, standing strong, and my commitment at our last year's conference was I would be with you on the picket line. And here I am to show my support and the support of the National Union for everything that you are doing. It's tremendous. We think you're wonderful and we are with you every step of the way.